Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Today I am going to discuss voltage, current and resistance. What is the relation between voltage, current and resistance? In our routine life, we listen 220 volt, 10 volt, 12 volt. If we discuss a battery, 12 volt, 100 ampere battery, 12 volt, 40 ampere battery. Then we see resistance. Basically, it is a requested video. It is a question from one of my viewer. Why current and voltage flow in different ways? To understand voltage and current, let me explain. For example, I have a water tank. When we say water tank, that means it is a storage. We can store something. For example, I store water. How much is the quantity? For example, 10 liter water how much is the height from the from the ground level if it is placed on the earth and the ground it have some other potential it have some height for example it is 10 meter or 5 meter above than the ground level then it have a potential when I will connect a pipe so water will flow from high potential to low potential to ground level what is the diameter of the pipe if I install a large diameter pipe the water will flow easily if I press the pipe for example from this point it will cause to resist in flow this is a potential we applied a media a line to flow the water when we measure the flow it is called liter per minute how much how many liters per minute or per second are flowing from point A to point B if the pipe is wide diameter the flow will more we can say it will 2 liter per second if we close the dia maybe it will become 1 liter per second closing the diameter is called resistance we will increase the resistance the flow will reduced this is potential this potential the storage can be known as a voltage and this flow is called current so it is a flow and it is a potential in the path of this flow how much there is obstruction this is called resistance resistance the obstruction in flow is called resistance how we can correlate this water level with voltage I have a battery we have two terminals in the battery positive negative we have some liquid some material in this battery when we connect a battery charger to charge this battery internally we make a chemical reaction and we make a potential difference same as the potential is here we pump some water from ground level to the water tank when this water is stored in the water tank it will take potential it will store energy now when we connect battery charger the battery charger will force electrons from this material to store at negative terminal so what happens at this point at this point there will more electrons and here will a deficiency here is excess of electrons here deficiency of electrons how much if we produce a difference from this point to this point 6.24 10 raised to power 18 electrons if there is a difference of this quantity of electrons we will say it is 1 volt if we say this battery is 12 volt multiply this amount of electrons so we can say at this point 6.24 2, 4, 10 raised to power 18 multiplied by 12 so this amount of electrons are present here and here are deficient so it is called voltage so when we store some energy from point A to point B that is called potential difference the potential difference is called voltage when we connect this pipe in sense of battery we are connecting conductor between positive pole and negative pole if this material is good conductor that means it have a big dia it will allow a full flow of electronic current when it will cause to flow electronic current as we say here liter per second 
when we collect a conductor from this point to this point from negative terminal to positive terminal and there is a flow of 6.24 10 raised to power 18 electrons per second if this conductor causes to flow the electrons 6.24 10 raised to power 18 electrons per second from this point to this point at any point at any place if you collect a counter or any measurement device as we use ampere meters basically they calculate flow of electrons from this point to this point I am discussing electronic current if we discuss conventional current that time the holes will move from positive to negative terminal in electronic theory electronic concept the current flows from negative terminal to positive terminal if we say conventional current that means the current will flow from positive to negative terminal both are the same if we discuss 6.24 10 raised to power 18 electrons are 6.24 10 raised to power 18 positive charge carriers holes it will same just only the difference in theory electronic current or conventional current how many electrons are moving from this point from this barrier in per unit time that is one second it is called current if we apply one volt that is 6.24 10 raised to power 18 electrons and the conductor allows to move the current 6.24 10 raised to power 18 electrons per second that means it have one ohm resistance it is very easy to understand just we have to understand this amount of electrons it is 6.24 10 raised to power 18 electrons if it have potential difference here is excess here is deficiency that means it have one volt potential difference if the same amount moves in one second from any point it is called one ampere current when we apply this potential difference one volt and one ampere current flows that means there is one ohm resistance so this relation between the flow of current voltage current and resistance current is directly proportional to the voltage and it is inversely proportional to the resistance how for example we have 10 volt battery positive negative positive negative and we have one resistance here if this resistance is 2 ohm the amount of current is 5 ampere if we say we have 20 volt battery the same 2 ohm resistance that means the current will 10 ampere or we can say we have 10 volt battery the resistance is 10 ohm it is 1 ampere as we discussed if we increase the resistance the current will decrease if we increase the voltage the current will increase so it is directly proportional if the voltage are increased check this example here if we increase this 10 liter if we raise this 20 liter so this 20 liter have more potential difference and it will cause to flow more water from this pipe this flow started from this point reaching at this point so these electrons will move from this point and it will fulfill these holes so when the potential difference will equal the current flow will stop how we can say this for example I have one tank here the second tank is here this tank is full with water and here is deficiency there is no water so we have potential difference from this point to this point because it have high level and there is deficiency so if we correct this with a pipe what will happen it will cause to flow the water from this point to this point now this level will start to decrease as we discussed here when we connect this conductor the current will start to flow the electrons will fulfill the holes here same here this water level will start to decrease and it will start to increase when the both tanks are at equal level we can say there is no potential difference before this 
this tank had a potential difference it was full and it was empty now the potential difference will equal between two poles from this point to this point when there is no potential difference there will no current flow so voltage is a potential this is voltage difference between one point point a to point b this was the point a it was a point b difference between this point to this point potential difference that is called voltage voltage are necessary to flow the current and resistance is a media this pipe this pipe here are this conductor every conductor is working as a, a resistance every conductor have its own resistance some conductors like gold copper they have more electrons these metals provide a easy flow in electronic current so every material have its own resistance so these three items voltage current and resistance are caused to flow the electrons to move the current but the voltage is a potential it is a difference between two points positive pole and negative pole when we connect our resistance from this point to this point it will cause to flow the current when the voltage level are equal there is no potential difference there is no current flow so friends i hope so this video is informative for you if it is informative hit the like button if you are visiting first time to my channel and you have not subscribed my channel you can subscribe it if you have any question let me know in the comment box thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh